Here's the tools you'll be requiring for your application. You need to get your cleaners there. You need some measuring tape, some masking tape, a couple of squeegees. Just read down the bottom and you'll find it. Uh, what we've got to first do is get your graphic into position. We're just laying it down flat because it's easier for us. Uh, if you need to do it on a vertical, just use a couple of bits of masking tape, hold it on the edge, and then to line it up, just modify it as you need it. Then when you're done, tape up an edge and you're ready for the first method. This first method, the edge fixing method, put a bit of tape on an edge and then if you've got something a bit long, put a couple of nicks as you saw there and then you peel it back, just be careful not to pull up any of the vinyl that you want to put down. Sometimes it's easier than others. For our method we try to do half of the time, that way yeah, your marks over on the side can be lined up easier and also gives you this nice little tenting effect which by it holds it off nice and square from one edge to the other and that makes it easier for you to line up with one end and then squeeze it down let you get a good start on um, getting it straight make sure you squeeze it as you see there where you can push the air from one end to the other you try not to push the air into itself and cause bubbles notice this the vinyl will come off a bit with the backing paper there Keep an eye on for that. Make sure fact it went a little bit out of place, so we'll fix that up a little bit. Try to use a Stanley knife or something clean and try not to touch the back of it too much, the adhesive side. Once again, if you hold your fingers over the mark and slowly squeegee from one end to the other, it should go off pretty easy. When you're removing the app tape, try to pull it back on itself, that way the tendency for the vinyl to come up with it will be minimised. As with the edge fixing method, use a bit of tape to hold the graphic in place where you want to put it. Put a couple of nicks if it's a bit big. This size really doesn't need them, but we'll put them on for you anyway. Difference with this is you put half on one way and then half on the other. This is good for curved surfaces, say, as on top of a windscreen. That way you can put it in the middle. Otherwise, if you start one end, you might have it down in the middle of your eyes. Once again, holding it square off the paper and squeegeeing, pushing the air left and right or away from where you've already been. After one side's down, you remove your masking tape there. And then it's very similar to the edge fixing method. With the wet method, as it employs, we're going to be using some water. So what we try to do, if we have to put it in a certain spot, like we are here, we put a bit of masking tape either side of it, and then mark it. See, when you mark them with a pen and a tape like this, they're going to be a bit more permanent than a water-based pencil, which will wipe off. You'll see the effects in a minute. But the beauty of the wet method is, you can position it in exactly the right spot if you're worried or if you're a bit concerned about your skills you can take a bit more time and care and get in an exact right spot and not worrying about it sticking and destroying itself in the meantime see taking it off take the backing paper off 
nice and easy. Here we go, soak it up. Spray a bit on the graphic too if you wish. Now this is where you'll see those tapes coming into their own, those marks that we put on. See we're lining them up there, you can move it around, up and back. Now if you look at the water soluble one, it's just all but gone. Not really good for lining up. And these tapes, nothing's in the road, nothing's going to touch them. And when you're squeegeeing for the first few times, try not to press too hard. You might actually push the graphic out of place with the first few squeegees. So try to just move the water. You are still trying to press firm to get the graphic to stick well and to get rid of any moisture that's under it. The more you get out, the better off you are. So it will put a bit of a film between the vinyl and your background. Once again, peeling it off, peeling it back on itself. Very important with the wet method as the um, adhesive strength isn't um, as strong as it could be. Notice we've even got a messed up looking end there. No need to worry. Try and just peel it off. You can mess things up pretty bad. This one's not doing so well. Try to keep your fingers away from the adhesive. Your oils off your fingers seem to put a bit of a film on it. So try and do your best with a clean tool. We're using our Stanley knife there and our fingernail. And just as you pull it back, you can fix it up. Spin it around to where you want it. With a bit more playing, you'll get it back exactly where it should have been.